Hey folks, today for Isaac's Saturday Race Tips, I look at not one, not two, not three, but four racing tracks. We look at the Valley, we look at Royal Randwick, we look at Eagle Farm, and to finish it off, we look at a couple races at Morfordville. Let's start off at the Valley. Let's start off with race three, the Brompton Hand cap it's a 1600 meter i've got number one al galeo uh barrier five matt cartwright in the saddle uh besides trials it hasn't raced since 2020 and its last win was at the valley um so that's good to have that form at this track uh, for Al Galeo. Another horse whose last win was at the Valley is number eight, Starcaster. Barrier one, Jamie Carr on board. Um, now, that, that win at the Valley um, in its last race for Starcaster was a 2,500 metre. It's pretty much uh, nearly a 1,000 metres cut down from that. So hopefully Starcaster's, um, Starcaster, excuse me, can get over the line for the win. But uh, my top pick would have to be number one, El Galeo. Race four is the Mirrorson Handicap. It's a 2,040 metre. I've got number six, Pancho. I love this horse. Barrier six, uh, Craig Williams in the saddle. And it's currently back to $4.60. But punters are showing a lot of love for number one, Buckhurst, who is the favourite, $3.20. And Ben Mallum's on board for that horse. Um, you know, to pick a winner out of the two, obviously both will go well, but I'm hoping that Pancho can upset um, the favourite and get the win. Who knows, uh, closer to the race, Pancho might become the favourite because it's only about, uh, a, about a dollar separation between those on the odds. Race five is the Dominant Cleaning Solutions Handicap. It's a 1,514 metre. Um, I've got number one. It's the only horse I've, I've selected in this race. I'm Thunderstruck. Barrier 8. Jamie Carr in the saddle. It's the favourite at 190. It deserves to be the favourite every race. After its last start at Flemington with that awesome win uh, a week or two ago, it's just brilliant. I'm Thunderstruck, you know. Leading up to that straight, it either swoops around the corner or come through the middle. Jamie Carr's got this horse um, well figured out, and she just knows what to do at the right time, Jamie. And I'm Thunderstruck is just a beautiful horse, um, and I'm sure it can get maybe another win today. Race 7 is the dominant Travis Harrison Cup. One of the biggest races of the day at the Valley. Uh, 2,500 metre. I've got number 2. It's a long shot, don't get me wrong. It's um number 2, Tavi Run. Now, Barrier 5, Thomas Stockdale in the saddle. $21 to win, $6 to place. It is a roughie. But, um, you know, never underestimate uh, the dark horses in the race. Um, and uh, hopefully, Tavi Run can get the win. From the roughie, I've gone to the favourite for my second selection. It's number five, Smokin' Romans. Barrier 13, Jamie Carr on board. Um, it's currently back at $2.25. Punter showing a lot of love for Smokin' Romans. Uh, it's last four starts. Uh, I, you know, you wonder why punters are showing a lot of love. Last four starts... First, second, third, and second. It's been up to brilliant form, and I'm sure Smoke and Romans can at least get a place in today. Um, you know, or even the win, maybe get back to back wins. That'd be really nice for Smoke and Romans. Race eight is the Congratulations Jamie Carr Handicap Race, 2040 meter. Jamie Carr, what a legendary jockey. Uh, she deserves all the congratulations she can get. Obviously getting those 100 wins for the season. Um, and plenty more to come. I've got number two, Seb Song, to start it off. Barrier four, Craig Williams on board. And he's currently back at $8. And I've also chucked in Jamie Carr, who she's on. It's um, number four, Red Santa. Barrier 12, it is the favourite at $3.90. Uh, Kieran Ma, David Eustace, uh, the trainers. Uh, you know, Jamie Carr and Kieran Ma and David Eustace, they are such a, um, you know, dynamic trio. Those trainers, very strong, and Jamie Carr, a very strong jockey. And, you know, you look at their stable, it is very dominant. And hopefully Red Santa can get the win. But maybe Craig Williams pull one out of the hat and get Seb Song and an upset. But I'd, I would chuck two and four in a Quinella, folks, because I think that's pretty good chances there and uh, good odds. Race nine is the last one I look at at the Valley. It's the Lad Broke It Handicap. It's a 1,200 metre. I've only got the one selection. Number three, Montenegro Man, barrier 14, Mark Zara on board, and it's backed at $14. So it's kind of a long shot, uh, a bit on the roughy edges, but 
uh, Montenegro man. I'm sure he can maybe surprise everyone. Let's move off to Royal Randwick. Race 4 is the Agency Real Estate Handicap. It's an 1800 meter. I've got number 3, Badush. Um, barrier 4, Hugh Bowman in the saddle. Currently back to $4.40. I've also chucked in number 9, Savvy Legend, Barrier 8, uh, currently backed at $8 as well. Kieran McAvoy on board. It's been up to better form uh, than Badush in uh, recent uh, races, and uh, hence why I think it can get the win. Um, you know, Badush put up a great fight. Now, it doesn't look like it in the odds, because Punter's showing a lot more love for Badush at $4.40, but Savvy Legend with Kieran McAvoy, I think that's a great duo and uh, it can definitely work today, hopefully. Race 5 is the Midway Handicap, it's a 1300 metre. I've got number 2, Catapult, Barrier 7, Hugh Bowman on board for another one of my selections, but I think number 10 can get a ripper win today. Um, it's Rock My One, Barrier 5, $7 is the odds, and Tommy Berry in the saddle. I think Rock My One uh, needs a win, it deserves one, it's been up to okay form. On and off at times, but I rock my wand, hopefully can get the win. Moving off to race nine, the Fujitsu General Handicap. It's an 1100 meter. I've got number one, Space Boy. Barrier eight, $4.20 is the odds. Alan Hennessy in the saddle. But my main pick for this race and my pick of the day is number seven, Valaquenta. Barrier five, Kieran McAvoy on board. Currently back at $8.50. It's coming off a nice win at Sandown, which was a thousand meter. Valaquenta looking really good in the field today. Race 10 is the ATC. Uh, thank you, Trainers Handicap, the 1,300 metre. Now, my top two picks in this race is number one, Cordia, who's in Barrier 9, currently back to $4, and James McDonald's in the saddle. Um, and also number six, who I think can go well, is Knight of Power, uh, Barrier 8, and it's back at $9.00. So those are my two top picks, and I've also chucked in number seven. He's a hot shot, uh, currently back at $7, and number 11 escaped at $7.50. Chuck all four horses in a box, first four, and I think that looks pretty good to me. Number one, number six, number seven, and number 11 in race 10 at Randwick. Moving off to Eagle Farm now, race four. I've got number two, You'll Be Missed. Uh, barrier three, currently back at $11. I hope You'll Be Missed can get the win today. Um, that's really good odds there. Race five, uh, I've got number five, Jetty. Or my main pick for this race is number 10, Hey Big Splendor, currently back to $5. And Ryan Maloney is in the saddle. So Hey Big Splendor um, hopefully can get the win. Race 8 is the James Squire Open. It's a 1,400 metre. And I've I've got a box trifecta going here. Uh, number 2, Scolopini, who's backed at $5. Number 3, Boom Sara, who's at $6. And number 12, Sea Raider, who's out to $10 now. Um, that's a box trifecta for me. And to win it, I've got Scolopini, number 2. I think Scolopini can get the win. Moving off to Morfordville now. Race 2, I've got number 2, Frankie Pinot. It's Barrier 10, um, currently back to $4. Baron Vorster in the saddle. It's last start, finished second at Morfordville. Then I looked a little deeper into this horse. It had a three-week spell, and then before that, it had a nice win in June at Morfordville. So it's getting used to the Morfordville track. But in these wet, uh, horrendous conditions up at Morfordville, because a few races were abandoned uh, a week ago, you know, hopefully Frankie Pinot goes well, and hopefully the race at Morfordville can go ahead today because it's scheduled as a heavy eight, unfortunately. Race five is um is going to be a great race. I've only got the one horse though. It's number five, Exalted Ambition, Barry three, currently back at eleven dollars. I think Exalted Ambition can get the win. It's looking alright in the field today. Race six is the last race I look at, and I've got two horses. Number two, Francis Boy, uh, Barrier Six, currently back at fifteen dollars. So it's a bit of a roughy, but um, the roughies go well in the rough conditions sometimes. So Francis Boy might get the win. Also, number eight, Flying Pierre, looking good at the four dollar mark, uh, and it's in Barrier Eight. Folks, it's going to be a huge day of racing. You know, I've looked at four tracks, and there's a few other tracks um, as well. There's also the um, sports of sports bet Pakenham synthetic races um, today. So huge um, day of racing. Hopefully the weather does hold up because you know it's windy, it's rainy, and for one thing, it is cold. Folks, stay safe, and if you are taking a punt, good luck, and as always, gamble responsibly.